So, what would you like to start with? The A's, the B's, or the oh, C's? I don't know. I don't know. Can we start with the A's? Uh, sure, let's go for take it. it from the top. Okay, so what I have here is your, um, your biometric information. This right. was done um, on that biometric scale where you have the two arms right. and the, the two legs, and then what it does is it sends a bio, in, bioelectric uh, in, uh, impulse, and then it tests um, how much um, fat and lean muscle is in your arms, in your legs, and also in your midsection. Okay. So, and I, and I guess I didn't fast. I didn't get the fast. Message, right. So. Exactly. Yeah. So this well, this isn't um, exactly perfect, but it's it's okay. it's pretty close enough. So let me just do um, driving mass thirty point thirty point nine divided by one thirty four. Driving mass twenty one point three. Okay. Great. So when I look at your um, numbers, they look pretty good, actually, extremely good. Your percent body fat is 21.9, okay? Um, that's um, pretty good, actually, it's extremely good. For a man, less than 20 is the target. For a woman, less than 30 is the target. But a target is a little confusing because there's normal and then there's optimal. Mm. I don't think we know yet exactly what the perfect percent body fat is for Alzheimer's prevention or risk reduction, mm -hmm. but what I would say is that you are um, doing pretty darn good. 21.9 mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Is that um, elite, meaning are you like an elite athlete? Well, no, I'm not going to say you're an elite athlete, but that's pretty good. When you take a 57-year-old woman with a percent body fat of 21.9, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's in the top. Uh, we have a lot of very fit people in the clinic, but that's still in the top 20% of the clinic, maybe, wow, maybe top see, I don't self-identify that way at all, so. I, I, what do you mean, like, by not having low body fat? Yeah, like I think of like, oh my God, I'm like the menopot overweight, I'm mm -hmm. in this like horrible struggle and like, uh, you know, um, and so this was the part that really, um, yeah. Well, the, um, the good, the, the I'm part sure you about, have some bad news. Well, well, uh, <laughs> not necessarily. The, the part about your body fat that's, good news is that it's not heavily located in your um, trunk or in your mm -hmm. viscera. Mm -hmm. So um, what is, for example, your waist size or your, your dress, or I guess, your, do you know your waist size when well, you are in college? Oh, in college, I used to be like, a, let's see, I was uh, 27, so I was like 36, 27, 36 okay. was my thing for a long time. Okay. But then I, you know, I went through a, a phase in in life, like early, like actually right around college, that was after college, like right around college, mm -hmm. I was like kind of big for a while, like after I, you know, I probably weighed like 25 pounds more, sure. and then, uh, then sort of lost it, you know, after that, mm -hmm. um, so that then for a long time in my early adulthood, that was like what my size was, but then I, I had four kids, and every time I had a kid, I gained like 50 pounds in pregnancy, then I would lose it all, and then I would have it again, and this was four times within seven years. So I have a lot of like, you know, body issues. Like, okay. you know. Um, anyway, and so, and then you know, then I, after menopause, and it's like, oh my god. And then I'm aware it's like it's harder. It used to be I could, you know, gain 50 pounds in pregnancy and lose it, and then you know, but then it just got harder and harder. So I feel like I really have to like work at it now. But I'm like worried I'm not like working the right way. Like, am I, you know, I don't know. like is it muscle? Is too much? You know, is it? Is it enough of the right kind of muscle and that those kind of questions? Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna okay. go through that. I see. I've identified your problem area. Okay. okay. The good news is is you have good news. Um, the other news is is there's um, some stuff that we can uh, optimize mm -hmm. because the concept of prevention, mm -hmm. right? Usually, when we talk about treating a disease like Alzheimer's, we're treating a disease. The concept of prevention and being in a preventative medicine environment is different. You have normal, you have abnormal, but then you have optimal. Mm -hmm. And the concept that these numbers may be normal, and actually these numbers are pretty good. These numbers are better than normal. Body fat, 57-year-old woman, 21.9, high five. You're doing great. But 20% would be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That would be optimal. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Your lean mass, so your lean mass is your muscle mass. How much of your muscle is dry lean mass? Um, it's actually pretty darn good. It's 21.3. Um, that means 21.3% of your body weight is lean muscle. Um, that absolutely has to do with your um, nutrition. You eat clean and you eat lean. 
your Pilates or in your core training. Um, that has to be part of this. Um, you're doing lots of walking, um, which is good. Um, but what I can do is I can recommend a little bit of a um, modification of some of your activity after I look at your labs. Let me okay. see what your labs show. Okay. Um, because one of the really important points here is, as we go back to this little diagram, I'm not going to make any major recommendation to change what I tell you to do mm -hmm. without triangulating all three of these pieces of, of information. So they all work together. They 100% all work together because uh -huh. maybe 21.9, maybe it's not 20%, which is like pretty optimal, uh -huh. but this is totally normal. But if I look at your labs and your labs are pristine and your cognitive function is pristine, then I'm not going to really worry about that and you can hang out at 21.9 and not need mm. to do anything about it. Mm. But if sense? I was on the border of other things not looking so good, then I would really want that, would, I would want to be more optimal. Exactly. Right? So, so when I talk about percent body fat, right. percent body fat is all about metabolism. Metabolism, mm -hmm. the body metabolism, when you look at your blood sugar, your fasting insulin, your hemoglobin A1C, which is your average blood sugar over six months, your fasting blood sugar, which is which, um, super important too. Mm -hmm. We're also going to look at your um, memory measures because memory and metabolism often go together. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is we're going to triangulate all three before I make any recommendations. What I do see from this is that while you are, um, you're, you're, you're a righty, are you right-handed? Are you right-handed? Right -handed? Yes. Okay. Your right side, your right arm, and especially your right... Have you ever had a left leg injury of any sort? Yes. What'd you do? I had um, the... Well, not injured, but I had the um, Morton's neuroma. Uh, okay. And like, so I've had surgery on that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. so I, can, I can see that a little bit. Your right leg is by far the strongest part of your body. Hmm. Your right leg is really, really, really strong. Your left leg is strong, but hmm. a few percent less strong than your right leg, hmm. and that's probably due to the Morton's neuroma. Hmm. Your arms are much less strong than your legs, hmm. even though your arms are reasonable. Your hmm. trunk, actually, your chest and your core is actually the least um, strong you of your body. can tell that from that. Yes. Because it, literally, I've been doing all these other things, and I never did any core, and then my stepson's like into all this, and so yeah. I went to the gym with him and my husband mm -hmm. and they were showing me core and I like could not like I didn't have a core like yeah. I couldn't even find those muscles yeah. so that's interesting yeah. you can and tell that's that. and you're 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 getting close to being expected for your age mm -hmm. but your your core is the only part of your um, body that has the that is less ideal than your expected age yeah, yeah. it's now your legs are actually pretty close to optimal mm -hmm. um, and your arms are mm -hmm. somewhere between normal and optimal mm -hmm. so it's all gradient that mm -hmm. that's interesting okay. yeah. and the key here is you know why does this all matter yeah. well, it all matters because I, I mostly care about um, visceral fat what did you say was your waist size now um, did they, they, they just it? measured me and they, yeah. I don't know what I said but oh, they, it's 31 when 31 they did it. okay yeah. so you are so you're couple of inches bigger than you were yeah. in high school and, and you, for, for women that's easily okay um, mm -hmm. but maybe we can tighten that up a little bit a half an inch mm -hmm. but I don't think your waist needs to be less than 30 inches mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's going to affect it, affect you negatively in terms of your Alzheimer's risk the other part about this is your blood pressure looks good 135 over 75 and if you look at the new blood pressure guidelines on um, your your right in range there so mm -hmm. you're right you're right mm -hmm. actually that's that's normal, actually closer to optimal than normal. Mm -hmm. And your resting heart rate is great. Um, your resting pulse rate of 53 means you're you're pretty pretty. You're means you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. um, and and resting heart rate is tied to longevity. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's also um, potentially tied to Alzheimer's risk. Although we haven't really figured out our data yet when it comes to that. Um, what we do in our clinic, we have a sub, sub study where we use these biosensor bands mm -hmm. uh, where we track um, oh. sleep. Yeah. Um, we track REM sleep, deep sleep, total sleep, and we also track um, exercise, exercise strain, resting pulse, um, cardiovascular um, recovery, things like that. So we're trying to use these um, sensors mm -hmm. at home so we can really understand uh, body function, which actually gives you a window into the brain. Mm -hmm. So, But okay. at a baseline, your heart rate of 53 um, looks pretty good. So, okay, so that's your A's. If I had to give you a grade on your A's, you get an A for A. You get an A in your A. Okay, let's talk about blood. So blood biomarkers is, um, there's no one magic lab or one magic um, number in, in these tests that are going to um,